In this tutorial, we show you how to add an accordion control to you, one of your um, ASP projects. To do this, it requires that we have the AJAX um, extensions in our toolbox. So if you don't know how to do that, go and refer back to the last tutorial. I'll put a link on here back to the last tutorial on how to include that external, those external tools in your project. So if we look at this page currently, it looks like this. So I've got a heading for degrees and then a bunch of links and another planning section and a section for classes and a section for transfer options. So what we really want to do is put each of these things inside an accordion. An accordion is an expandable section. So to do this, to create the accordion, I'm going to do this in s source view. The first thing we have to do, sorry, a little clean up here, is um, add something called a script manager. This is just something that pulls some extra JavaScript to help us with our AJAX controls. So we need the script manager. It doesn't really matter where it goes, although you do want it in your, um, you know, the content section that's going in the body. And the other thing is it has to be before the accordion. Other than that, you know, you can put it before the H2 wherever, but um, I just usually put it up here towards the top of the page. Then the next thing we'll do is add the accordion. And so again, I'm just going to drag and drop an accordion control out of this AJAX section. So if you haven't added this, the a extra AJAX tools, you won't have this in here. But I'll grab an accordion, stick it in here. And the accordion by itself, at this point, does nothing. We actually have to add a bunch of things in here. So some of the things we want, we can't drag and drop inside here. We have to type. And so I usually do this. Just come here and type the less than, and it pulls this up, and it shows you what your choice is. So um, mo what we want are panes. Not um, okay. So this the panes is where we add the accordion panes. Each section is going to have its own accordion pane. So again, I just did a lesson. I pull the accordion pane off the list, and then within each accordion pane. Well, before I do this, I also need to add a little bit on here. We have to give each accordion pane its own unique ID, and I'm going to call this degree pane. And then we also have to put in the run at equals server. So you have to do this yourself in every accordion pane. And then within the accordion pane, there's going to be two sections. There's going to be a header section. This will be when the accordion's collapsed, what text you want to see. And then there's going to be a content section. This is when the accordion's expanded. This is the main piece of text you want to see. So I already have my list stuff out here. I'm just going to grab these things and put them up here. I'll put the header, the H3, up here in my header section of my accordion pane, and then I'll take the list and paste this within the content section of the accordion pane. So I'll do this. I'll show you, leave this on the video of doing one more of these, but then I'll edit it out so you don't have to see all of them. So I'm going to actually again come in here I've got one pane done so beneath that pane but still within the pane section I'll say I want to add another accordion pane and I have to give it an ID and I have to do the run add equals server and then again, I'm going to put inside here, put a header section and a content section. And then within the header section, I'm going to grab the header from my from my next list. And then I'll go grab the list content. OK, now that I'm done editing, I'll just scroll through this slowly, and you can see I've added a, a, another pane for the transfer options and another pane for a few of the classes. So here's my other pane. And again, each of these accordion panes is inside the big pane section, which itself is inside the accordion section. So when we run this, we'll now see have something that looks like this. 
um, you notice we don't see all the, the lists. We only see one list expanded, and then we see the headers for the other. So when I click on this heading, you notice that the other one, the accordion pane, contracts, and this one expands. So this is the way the accordion control works. Oops, sorry. We only see one accordion pane expanded at a time. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll show you how to format these panes and do some other stuff with them so it looks a little bit more like an accordion. People will have a little bit, um, they'll understand that it works just by how it works by looking at it. Because if I just look at this, I think, oh, this page is messed up. You know, there's something about degrees, but I don't see any content there. It's not obvious to me that I need to click on this. But anyway, this is um, to put the accordion control on to create accordion control. Let's just review the steps one more time. Make sure you add the script manager first, then add an accordion control. And with that got accordion control, make sure you add the panes next. Then add an accordion pane for each of your sections. Make sure that you give it a, a unique ID and that you put the run at equal server in here. And then with, within each accordion pane you're going to have a header section and a content section. And the header will be what's displayed that the user will click on to expand the section and the content is the stuff inside the section.